The molar mass is defined as the mass in units of grams of one mole of any type of substance. I'm just going to write one mole of anything. If we're talking about molecules or ionic compounds, the molar mass is calculated by adding up or taking the sum of the, of the mass, the atomic mass, of all the atoms in the molecule or compound. And these masses that we use to calculate the molar mass are coming from the periodic table. So if we slide over to a periodic table, these atomic masses are the numbers that we use when we are calculating the molar mass for a molecule or a compound. The molar mass can be used like a conversion factor. It gives us the ability to convert back and forth between units of grams and moles. So for example, if we are given the amount of grams of a substance, we can use the molar mass to convert those grams into moles. And this also works in the other direction. So we can convert from units of moles to grams. And we're gonna come back to this diagram in a second. We're gonna fill some stuff in on this diagram. But um, before we do that, we're gonna work on a couple of examples. So first we have one example of calculating the molar mass of this molecule, which is vitamin C, ascorbic acid, C6H8O6. Now I've already done a few examples of calculating the molar mass, so I'm gonna go pretty quickly through this. Um, for this, again, we are taking the number of, we're starting with the number of carbon atoms, multiplying the number of carbon atoms times the mass of carbon. So we go over to the periodic table. Carbon is right here. The mass we're using is 12.001. Um, 12.001. Or is it 12.011? 12.011. And then we are adding the number of hydrogens times its mass, 1.0079, and the number of oxygen atoms times its mass, 15.999. We're going to add all of these numbers up together, and that's going to give us the molar mass for vitamin C, C6H8O6. So I'm going to do that very quickly over here. 6 times 12.011 plus... 8 times 1.0079 plus 6 times 15.999. And our molar mass here is 176.1232. In previous videos, I told you that there are two options for units that you can use for the molar mass. You can either use AMUs or you can use grams per mole. For this particular, the work that we're going to do in this video, we want to use the units of grams per mole, specifically because we're going with the definition that the molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of a substance. So this number that we get, 176, this tells us specifically that one mole of this molecule, C6H8O6, has a mass of 176.1232 grams. This equivalent right here is how we are able to use molar mass to convert back and forth between units of grams and moles, which is what we're going to see in the next example. So in this example, we are given a specific mass of C6H8O6, and we're asked to convert that mass into moles. I want you to think about this just like you would think about any type of unit conversion problem. Like if I told you that you had 5.75 meters and I wanted to know how many kilometers that was, the strategy that you use to solve this type of problem is exactly the same strategy that you'll use to solve this type of problem. If we're going step by step, the strategy that we want to use is to start by writing the number and unit that is provided to us in the problem. Specifically, we have 5.75 grams of C6H8O6. So that's what we're starting with. And then like we've done in the past, we wanna multiply that by a conversion factor. We want a conversion factor that lets us cancel out those units of grams C6H8O6. So we've done this, this process many times. We wanna cancel out units of grams C6H8O6 and we want to convert into moles of C6H8O6. The problem is asking us how many moles. That's what we're trying to figure out. So we're looking for numbers that we can fit into this conversion factor 
that will make this equality, make this an equality. And those numbers that we get are these numbers right here. We know that from the molar mass, one mole is equal to 176.1232 grams. And the way we've set this up, the grams cancel out and we are left with units of moles, which is what we want. 5.75 divided by 176.1232. To the correct number of sig figs, we should have 0 0.0326. The units are moles of C6H8O6. So here's one example of converting from moles to grams. Converting, we're going this way, converting from moles to grams. And I really want you to think about these problems, like I said, think about them like a unit conversion problem and set them up with conversion factors so that um, the units cancel out the way that you would want them to. But I know students are often looking for a shortcut for this, like something that's faster and easier. And so we can see from the way that we solved the problem here, if we are being asked to convert from grams into moles, so we're starting with grams and we're converting that number into moles, all that we have to do is simply divide by the molar mass. So let's make a note up here. We are going to divide the grams by the molar mass. So what I've written up here is grams divided by the molar mass is equal to the number of moles. And that's what we did down here. Grams divided by molar mass is equal to the number of moles.